Can you explain high level input on a D4.800 and how it controls the chime separately? It's not gonna control the chime separately. If your car isn't capable of taking an amp pro, it's got chimes that come through the speakers, my guess there's an amp pro for it because it's gonna be an earlier GM. Now, if it's a newer GM, then you can get the new one from Nav TV. Let's say you have factory radio, non-amplified, even there, you could still do a amp pro, dip switch three magic. But what you can do when you're setting up the EQ on an audio control it has the input rta every time that door chimes it's going to ping the frequency that is making that noise right you'll be able to physically see it on the rta guess where the rta is sitting on the eq take it turn that one frequency down and that'll solve that issue that's what they talk about when they say that you can try charm volume from it is that while you're watching that one signal go up on the rta on the software if you just grab that one frequency and you turn that one frequency down on that amplifier when you have inputs one and two or one and two combined you separate separate them out to one and two, you go to input one, you can sit there with the door open or the headlights on and you can watch that chime. Break it down, there you go.